All right, traders, this is Fausto. Let me do a quick audio check. If you guys could hear me loud and clear. Give me a chat back where you guys can hear me okay. All right, good, good, good. All right, everyone, just give me a second. We'll be getting started in about a minute, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Let me just do a quick audio check one more time. Just share a couple of screens over here. Um, just there you go. Okay, thank you very much. All right, good, good, good. All right, everybody, uh, welcome. My name is Fausto Puglisi from Cybertrain University. I'd like to thank you all for being here on this lovely Wednesday afternoon. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to talk about mastering the real-time order book and analyzing for stock trading. So the whole idea about being here today is to learn how to play the game of trading. Now, my goal today is I'm not here to entertain you. I'm not here to talk about the winners and how great we are and pound our chest while we've been around for so long. I'm here to teach you how to stop losing money. And the real reason why people lose money in trading is they just don't know exactly what they're looking at. They don't realize that you have the access to see where buyers and sellers are, all that good stuff. So we're going to cover that. We're going to go out there. I'm going to show you a couple of things on um, how to trade today's markets. But before we do that, just really quick, I uh, just want to touch upon a couple of things here. First of all, this is strictly for educational purposes. Um, so just let you know that I'm not making any guarantees or promises or anything of that stuff. So please be very careful that there's a big risk when it comes to trading. So be smart when you go out and make your trades in today's markets. Now, everybody here, if you have your phone, um, right there is a QR code, okay? And if you turn on your camera, you'll be able to have access to a one-week trial. Now, I will be posting this this QR code and the address again at the end of the presentation. So if you want to cut the line now and be and have first priority, here's your chance. But everything I'm going to talk about, I'm going to invite every one of you to come see this live in the market for one 
great, wonderful week. So listen, I can only make it very drooling in your mouth in the next uh, 45 minutes. But if you want to see it live, there's going to be your opportunity. First come, first serve. So go out there and register. All right. So let me change the slide here and tell you. Now, my question to everyone here is, I think I do a poll here, but um, um, basically I want to know how exactly, how long you guys been trading for? You know, have been investing. Has it been a couple of weeks, couple of years? You know, how long you guys been doing it for? Just give me a little chat back. Three months. Okay, Don. All right. Good, good, good. And another question I'd like to launch while you guys are filling that out. What kind of trader are you? Are you a stock trader, an options trader, a futures, Forex? Let's see what kind of traders everybody is. But so once again, if you're in uh, watching on social media, just put in the chat room. You got a chat over there on the right. Just let me know. All right. So uh, let me end this poll and try to share it to everybody. So um, you could see right here, we got about 75% of you stock traders, a lot of options traders. Wow. And futures and Forex. Okay. So let me explain something to you. Um, the way I look at this for, the way I look at this is that if you've been doing this more than 60 to 90 days and you're not making money, you're pretty much wasting your time, you know, the way you were trained or what kind of market you're trading. I'm an actual day trader. And what exactly is a day trader? I'm in and out the same day. The reason why I love day trading is I'm in cash every day. Okay, I still swing trade. I do do some options, but you can't be a good swing trader unless you know what's happening over the course of the day. You can't be a good um, options trader if you don't know what's happening with the stock over the swing. And a lot of you guys are doing things backwards. And once again, I'm not here to knock anyone's style, but there's an easy way to answer it. If you have anyone here on a business or you work somewhere, if you're training someone for after doing all that research and doing all the due diligence and all that vetting, and someone's finally hired someone and they're working for you for 60 to 90 days and they are not getting it, guess what? They got to go. You're no different. Okay. But there is something you could fix because maybe that's just not your style. So let's get on with it right now. Now, uh, before we get to further and start getting to trade, let's get started and tell you where we where we've all began and how I started. Because some of you are probably wondering, Fausto, I never heard of you before, okay? Even though you've been around for 30 years, okay? And me endorsed by every brokerage firm. Um, let me tell you how I got started because my story is no different than some of you, okay? Um, I gonna, I'm 52 years old, been doing this for over 30 years. I was one of the original day traders that started. When I started, it was about maybe a thousand traders. Now there are millions of you. Right on the left hand side is a you know a bunch of basically I was one of those kids, a bunch of kids uh tormenting Wall Street front page on Forbes. Uh you could see we used to make money on a 15-inch monitor. Some people came and make money on four. I'm also a number one bestseller of How to Beat Market Makers in Our Own Game, published by Wiley, you know, big uh very well known publishing company. Now that book right there. You could buy it on Amazon for $47, but if you stick around and you click on that QR code, I'm going to give you my book for free, okay? Very fast read, great read. It's gonna, And let me tell you, nothing has changed 30 years ago until today other than technology got better. You didn't have to get licensed. You don't have to come live in New York. And that basically is. Um, the QR code, actually, you know what we'll do is, John, I see, or Alex, I see you guys in here. Could you put the link in there for Tammy? Um, so she could just register on for it. Just give it that link in there. All right. There you go. You're more than welcome. Now, over the years, I've competed against every school in the industry and I beat every school in the industry. Okay. Actually, some people didn't even show up, but you know what I've learned? It's not about how good of a trader I am personally am. It's, am I a good teacher? Okay. And what I'm about to show you is exactly the way I was trained. Now, there's a lot of people out there will teach you and they'll talk about indicators and they're talking about all these shortcuts and will sell you, you know, tell you about, uh, oh, I got, let me give you a watch list, you know, like a hot list and, you know, scanners. It's not about that. You know, autopilot in a car is pretty cool, but do you really trust it? You got to drive the car. You need to know what's wrong with it. You need to know how to change the tire. And that's what happens when it comes to trading. So I've been doing this for over many years. I've trained people all different walks of life from engineers, 
first responders, grandmas and grandpas, uh, professors, scientists. I mean, some of the smartest people that you would even imagine. And some people, not the most smartest, but the most greatest entrepreneurs. And I know a lot of you here maybe look like a lot of the people that you see right here that are students of CTU. So my goal is to have some of you to be some of them. Now, to do that, um, I need to show you exactly what trading is about. Now, before I go into talk about the trading, just to let everybody know, tomorrow I will be live at NASDAQ at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Now, NASDAQ, just to let you know, um, we're one of the probably the only educational schools out there that they want you to learn how to trade the market. So um, for everyone that registered, or once again, we'll post that link up there. We'll, you'll, you'll get to see me a little bit more about it and why it's so important that you need to know how to trade these markets because it's not that I'm telling you so, it's even the exchange telling you so. Now, um, question I want to ask everyone uh, regarding about a strategy. Okay, so let's have the let's start getting into the fun of the trading part of it. Uh, what is your strategy buying a stock? Is it uh, is it charts? Is it indicators? Is it news? Just want to see what everybody's um, strategy is behind trading. So just put in the chat out there if you can. Charts, chart indicators. Okay, indicators and news, Donald. Okay. David says gurus. Well, David, remember, you got to hit the button the other day. All above, Tammy. Candlesticks, charts. Find a way the buyers are, Brian. Okay, charts. All right. Listen, this is how majority of traders fail. Everything that you said, Brian, Robert, Kessner, I, uh, Ira, you're all wrong. I hate to say it. I know that might, you might be looking at me like, what? What did this guy just say? Yes, I'll tell you why 90% of the people fail in trading because they go out there and they're not using the right tools that they need, okay? Remember, you are you wanna know how to read the future, not read the past. What is the past? It's an indicator that is delayed. It's news that already came out. You ever heard of, you ever heard of something, buy on rumors, sell at news? Well, why are you buying at news, Samuel? You know what I mean? But what you do need is the right tools I'm going to show you. Now, how do I know this? Let me remind everybody. I was a market maker. What is a market maker? I was a trader for a brokerage firm. What I've learned as a trader, I realized that everybody's trading backwards because it's not about what you think, what the sh it's what the street thinks. You need to know where the orders are. And that's what I'm about to show you. So let's talk about some of the scanners and let's talk about some of the catastrophes that we happen. Let's talk about, uh, about the horrible, horrible effects that happen in Hawaii. Okay. And and let, first of all, let's 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 hopefully let's pray for those people out there that are alive. Uh and once again, a heart's to go for the people that lost the, their loved ones there. It is a huge major catastrophe. And you know what? We deal with this all the time. How do we deal with it? What about COVID? What about 9-11? What about um Hurricane Sandy that affected me here. I mean, there's always these catastrophes that you see, but we are traders. And unfortunately, these catastrophes do make opportunities for us traders. Now, there was a stock. That, now, does everybody know what what who's you know who's being held accountable for the fires? Anybody here know what's what's going on? Like who's being held accountable for it? Just out of curiosity. Donald, yeah. Okay, you hit you. you well, that's only one person. Some people call it the climate change, but I can't sue climate. I can't go after climate change. But a lot of it is being blamed on an electrical fire. Okay. And you're right. And it's this company right here, HE, Hawaiian Electrics. Okay. Now, listen, I'm not here to debate you about telling me, oh, you got it wrong, this and that. Let me explain something to you. Why did this stock go down from $35 down to 10 in three days, in four days? Now, as much as you might look at it, listen, I was involved in 9-11, okay? I remember sitting and doing a coaching class with one of my students. Um, he was in Las Vegas. I, and, you know, he was a, actually, I don't forget, he was a, a blackjack dealer. Even he wanted to learn how to trade. All of a sudden, we're watching on the news and a plane crashed into 9-11 and, you know, that's right, you know, right the block from me. And what do I do? You think I run out? First thing I do is I hit the short button on everything. 
because if it really was true, you know, right down in on a, a heart of Wall Street, I knew it was going to be closed forever. Well, what do you think happened with with with, um, uh, with HE with the fires? Boom! Look at that stock from thirty five down to ten. Now you think about it. If you had a hundred shares, not even a thousand or ten, let's say a hundred shares, one hundred shares. And you knew that that was happening when the fires started kicking in and you could start seeing it's going down, 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 down. And you shorted it at 35. And then you buy it back at 10. You made 25 points, 25 points on a thousand shares. 25 points is $2,500. Who doesn't want that job? Okay. Because it all started with a catastrophe. So not only that, that even though it, you could have shorted it on the long term or in an options, but the only way you knew it was going to go down is because being a day trader, you could see it. The stock kept trending lower and lower and lower and lower. Okay. And that's what trading is all about. Let's talk about Hurricane Sandy really quick. Okay. So big catastrophe, huge catastrophe here in New York. Do you know who benefited from Hurricane? Uh, who, who benefited from? A hurricane, what everyone realized, Generac, Home Depot, those stocks took off because what happened? Everyone realized they lost power. We lost power for two weeks here. People are like, well, I'm not having that happen again. You heard what happened with the gas. People were fighting online because you're going to get gas. There was no backup generators. Generac made a fortune. Okay. So COVID, I just did an event on that. Who killed it on COVID? Moderna, you could have bought the stock at $24. I didn't even know what Moderna did. I didn't know they had the COVID vaccine. I actually, you could see a video on our website when I was at NASDAQ talking about it. Where did it go to $500? Why? Because some of you probably didn't know this, but how much you think it costs for a COVID shot? How much you think they were getting paid? Didn't cost you anything. But you know what it costs? What they were getting paid? $2,000 a month for one shot. Not $10 copay. Not $500, $2,000. Nice nice way to be in the business, right? So anyway, there are always stocks that will benefit and there will also stocks that will, will bounce back from it. So the goal is what made that stock go down? What made the stock go up? Well, that's the beauty about trading. And let me just tell you one more catastrophe. Remember PCG back in 2008, the fires um, in California? Who are they being blamed for? Another electrical company. And look what happened to that stock. Went from $50 all the way back down to almost $5. And then, oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't their fault. It wasn't their fault. It wasn't their fault when the fire hit. And you could see the stock hovered about November to, you know, for about two months, hovered around 1020. And all of a sudden, oh, no, it was their problem. And then people says, no, it wasn't. It was someone lit up a fire in the woods. And all of a sudden, it happened again. And we all said, what ended up happening? One of those big transformers blew up. Okay? So... Listen, if you're anti-electric, you know, you are pro-electric, you know, if you're climate change, it doesn't matter. You can't take this personal, okay? Because as a trader, those catastrophes make opportunities and help pay you bills. Because if you can't and accept it, you should not be trading. Now, the question everyone's always asking is, how do you find these stocks? How do you know? That they, that one was moving. I don't have a crystal ball here, but what I do have is what you all have is a big percentage gainers and losers. Those big percentage gainers and losers will drive the stock, will help us find those stocks that are moving. Like today, there was a whole bunch of them that moved pretty cool today. And we'll talk about them. Now, so for some of you here, you're saying, oh, I subscribe to somebody's newsletter, this and that. You're going to subscribe to anything. You know what you need to subscribe to? our trading room, that, that link that I gave you. And you'll see that we'll show you how to find these stocks and how to pick them out and know on, knowing which one is going to give you the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. Now, even though we find these stocks, question is, how do we know which one's going to continue to go higher? How do we know the one's going to continue to go lower? Who's going to, you know, what's making go up? What's making go down? So what I want to talk about is something called level three and level four. So uh, let me, um, let me just do a poll here, if I can. 
Uh, my question is this, do you have, do you have NASDAQ book viewer? So let me do a quick poll. And once again, I know if you're on social media, you can't do this unless you're in our trading room. But if you guys are willing to, if you're watching on social media, just go in the chat and just write it in that if you have it, yes or no. Yes, no, don't have no idea what I'm talking about. All right. So uh, let me end the poll here. And you can see a lot of you don't have it, almost 80%. All right, now, listen, I need, we have over, you know, 100 people in this room, okay? I need your 110% attention right now because what you're about to learn and what you're about to see is going to be the most disturbing thing you've ever were ever told because you're going to realize that everything that you were trained was the total opposite. And I can almost guarantee that. Now watch very carefully. I'm about to show you. You heard of something called level one quotes. You maybe heard of something level two, but I don't know. You spent a lot of you never heard of level three. And that means that none of you probably even heard of level four. So once again, I am going to be on NASDAQ tomorrow talking about NASDAQ book viewer and you're all welcome to join. Okay. Um, once again, you click on that QR code, uh, you'll be able to come in, uh, come in. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to give you a, a uh, basically a sneak peek of what I'm going to cover tomorrow. All right. So level two only tells you the buyers and sellers out there, but it doesn't tell you all the buyers and all the sellers. So let me explain to you what we're looking at. I think we all could agree is that stocks go up because there are buyers out there and stocks go down because there are sellers out there. Now think about this, how much smarter and better trading decisions would you make that you could make if you're able to see those buyers and sellers out there, okay? So what we're looking at now is that book viewer, let me get my crayons out here so you guys can see a little bit better. Uh, hold on, let's say I'm draw something here. Here are your buyers. And here are your sellers. Uh, Greg wants the, the, the QR code. Could you post the link up there again? I think we have the link there for you. Here we go. Here, you can just go click on this link. Alex put it in there. There's the link right there, Greg. All right. So you got buyers and sellers. Now you got two columns. You got orders. You got shares. And you got the buyer's price. That's what you got right here. Buyers, shares, and the bid price. Now, here you're seeing a stock that's going down, right? Now, for some reason, it decides it wants to stop right around this price, around 1565, which is right around here. And then it hits it, it hits it, it hits it, it hits it, it, hits it, it hits it, and finally it goes back up. You notice how it never wanted to go lower than 1565? Why is that? Well, the, the, the correct answer is there was a 84,000 share buyer that there were 15 orders that made up the 84,000 shares at 1565. Now, there are buyers at every single price level. Okay, you got 100 shares, 10 shares, 25 shares. We're talking 85,000. That's not, you know, chump change. That's a lot of shares when you compare to all the other buyers and sellers out there. So, buyers equal support. Now, everyone's doing the opposite. They want to know where support resistance, but you know what? You cannot have a support and resistance levels without those buyers and sellers out there. So there's your confirmation of buyers that are out there. Now, let me change the slide and show you another one. Here's some resistance levels. Here, we're looking at a stock Mara. Okay. It started right around 930, hit this price over here right around, I don't know, was it was a 1020 or some, something like that. Hit all, we went to a price, hit a resistance levels around 1070 and it came right back down. Why did it 1070 and came back down? Well, because there were sellers out there. And when you look over here on the right, you'll notice that there are a lot of sellers out there right at 1070 for 92,000 shares. Now there are 4,000 shares, 10,000, 3,000, 8,000. You're talking 92,000. You're talking between 10 and 20 times more of the average than at any single price than 10 1075. 
Let me repeat it. How do stocks go up and go down? Buyers and sellers. What are you seeing right here? Buyers and sellers. So when you want to wonder how a stock goes up and goes down and wondering how it got there, well, that's the reason why. Because that big seller out there. So how much smarter and better trade decisions would you have made if you were able to see those orders? Um, Michael, it's not only visible to me, it's visible to you, okay? The Mike's question is, when, when, when was that 92,000 share visible to you? When, when all those 20 people put it out there, okay? It could have been aggregated and added to, it, you know, you're gonna see this live in my market, okay? I'm not holding any punches. This is not, listen, I'm not a fan of PowerPoints because anyone could cherry pick. But when you start seeing this moving, you're going to see a total different perspective of how things move. Now, let's go over a few stocks that we traded this week. All right. So let's talk about CVS. Now, my question to everyone is this. What is the direction of CVS? Is this going up or down, going down? See if you guys can answer this question. Up or down? Okay, Donald, you're right. Michael, you're right. David, right. Tammy, Xavier. Everybody should be able to answer this question. Now, let me let me say it, and please don't take this the wrong way. I'm a little brash sometimes. But if you can't answer this question, like Brian, I didn't hear from you. Charlie, I didn't hear from you. Alberto, I didn't hear from you. You should not be trading. Everyone should answer this question. What is the direction? Please, I don't, don't make me waste my time. I'm here to stop teaching you from losing money. Why? What is the direction of this stock? I'm going to ask it one more time. Is it going up or going down? Thank you. Okay, good. Thanks, Juan. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Now, this is important to answer this question because this is going to lead to you from stop losing money. Because if I had a stock at 69 and I own at 65, I'm crapping in my pants right now. Do I sell it here? What, what do I do? Well, let's ask, let, I'm going to ask you a little question. What's going to make the stock, stock from stop going lower? What is going to stop this from happening? You need buyers. Oh my God. Holy crap. Is it that, was it that easy? You know what? Yes, it was. And the issue is this. I don't see any buyers on a chart. Okay. So <clears throat> let's go check over here on the CVS and NASDAQ book viewer. And now you'll notice that I'm going to look at the buy section. Right when we get around 64.75, there are 35 orders out there that are looking to buy the stock at eight at 180 uh, at one uh, at 108 108,000 shares. Okay, that make up that 35,000. Now there are 20. There's 200 shares, thousand shares, 300 shares, hundred shares. You're talking 108,000. Without even looking at anything, I could tell you this: that that is a major support level because there's a Big ass buyer out there looking to buy it. Well, guess what? That loser that you saw was going down all, all of a sudden became a winner. Because when that buyer showed up, you had a few minutes to see that happening. And that went from that price of 34, that $64.75 and shot all the way back to $66. How about that? Here you're losing $5, you know, going down. Now, if you were patient and knew where the buyer was, you could have made $2. Did that seem hard? Did I lose anybody yet? Anyone get lost? Anybody on YouTube? Because I didn't hear anybody from there. Good. Simple enough, right? You follow a long one? That's what I want to hear. All right. What is the direction? Why is Apple going up? Why, why would Apple go up? What's the theory behind it? Oh, very good, Don. I mean... Not a stupid question, but I want that stupid answer. Buyers, right? Does everybody agree? There must be buyers. It's the only reason why it's going up, not because it came out with a new iPhone, whatever it is. At this moment in time, <laughs> it's buyers. So is it going to continue to go higher? And being a good trader, if I owned it at 184, my goal is where am I going to take a profit? Well, where do you see the big orders on Apple? Can anybody tell me? Let's see if you guys are going to be able to figure this one out right now. Brian says there's a big order on uh, PLTR for 300. Let me look it up for you. On PLTR. 
I'm going to bring that up. If nobody knows the answer to this question, just give me a question mark. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Thanks a lot for sharing that. Well, if the stock's going up, we're looking for a seller, right? So we have a seller. Here are the sellers. We're going to look down the seller column. Oh, right here. Is this what you're talking about? This seller right here, the 50,000 shares. I don't know if you think it's a lot, but for me, when I see people looking only sell 400, 600, 1,000, you know, 1,000, yeah, 50,000, I'll take that very seriously. All right. So clear this out and change the slide, see how that worked out for us. Well, doesn't show that in the chart, it's going to go down, but I do start to see it starting to, uh, it's starting to consolidate. And guess what? It hit it, came back down. Hit it, came back down. Okay? Not once, but twice. How many more times do you need to have the reality check that there's a big seller out there and you have no idea he's out there because you're trading on somebody else's newsletter or someone's special indicator? I don't care about that stuff. Professional traders don't use indicators. We follow orders. You want to know where the institutions are? You want to see where all the algorithms are? You want to see where the dark pools are? That's where it's all, that's where they're at. When you're looking at the NASDAQ market. Now, where can we get NASDAQ book for you all going to ask? This is what I'm going to do. Here's my email address. So if you've been paying attention and you're interested in book viewer and you want to know where to get it, I'm going to tell you something pretty cool about it. When I started, it cost me $1,000 a month for this data. Okay. Now, is that a lot of money? I don't think so. If I was looking to buy a job, you know, listen, I had to drop my kid off at college. There's nothing less than 60, 70,000. You go to community college, there's still five, 10,000. Okay. So if I was looking to buy a six figure salary and it cost me a thousand dollars a month at 22 years old, I'll pay for it. Guess what? It doesn't cost a thousand. Doesn't even cost 500. Doesn't even cost a hundred. It costs $15, 15 bucks. You're telling me that you're going to get the opportunity to see 50% of the volume in the market, have a seat on the exchange. And I pay the $1,000 a month and you don't want to pay $15 a month for it. You don't think that's going to help you make smarter and better trading decisions. Then trading's not for you. And that's why I'm going to be at NASDAQ tomorrow talking about it. And that's why NASDAQ wants me to talk about it to you. Because there are just too many people losing money in the market. It's just a big failure rate. Why are you making that mistake? Let's take care and go to the next level. Now, what does 50% of the market mean? It means following the money. <laughs> Michael, that's what it means. All right. Let's upgrade to something called level four. All right. So everybody got my email address? Let me put it in there one more time. Fausto P at CPU Corp.com. All right. All right. Good. Now let's talk about level four. Now, level four is more of a heat map, okay, where you're going to see orders, how long they've been out there for. It's going to aggregate other exchanges. You could use this towards futures, options, cryptocurrency. You know, you could see, think about it. It's just an amazing tool. Now, Let's let's look at some stocks and let's see what support levels look like. Okay. So here's a stock that's trending down. Okay. And you'll notice that there's a little red line right here, uh, right around 105 for about 35,000 shares. Now there are sellers at every price level. The COB is current order book. Look at that as a NASDAQ book viewer. But now you're seeing time and sales, you're seeing trends, seeing all that. And the thing is, what's cool about this is when you get to 105, you notice that there's a 35,000 share buyer out there. When it hit that buyer out there, it went up. It hit it, it went up. And then obviously that buyer left. And then he maybe decides, says, you know what? Maybe I want to buy it. And he's probably the one that ran the stock up a dollar. Look at the stock, AMD. That's a stock that, that's basically what happened. It even works on brand name stocks. 
Let's see how stock reverses at resistance levels. Here's a stock going up, all right? And all of a sudden, here comes a seller at around 9, 955 for about 32,000 shares. See that little red line? What do you think is going to happen when you get a stock that goes from 1340 and now within about, I don't know, 30 minutes, you're coming up to a big seller that decides he wants to sell it? Exactly what we thought it was going to do. It's going to come back down. Because once he showed up and it hit him over there and you saw him come up, you can convert a winner into a loser. Now, let's check the live markets. Now, there was one student, uh, one trader in here says, Fausto, I want you to go check out uh, PLTR, okay? So PLTR, this is a pretty cool one. And let me bring up PLTR. So PLTR, everybody, let me bring up this chart. PLTR is doing what? Is it going up or going down? This is the live market. Don said it's going up, right? Up, 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 up. All right. So the question is, what's your game plan? You had the stock here at the open at $14, $14.50. Now we're at $15.30, okay? Is the stock going to continue to go higher? I mean, what's your game plan? What do I, what, 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 I mean, is it going to continue to go higher? Is it going to go down? Well, what's our game plan? Let me see how you got, how would you analyze this? Mike, you think it's going to go higher? Major resistance at 13, 15, 30. How do you know that, Dan? David says take a profit. Dave, why are you going to take a profit? What's giving you the reason? Well, let's look at this. Let's go, to, let's go here to the heat map, okay? Now, you notice, see this red line right here? There was a seller out there right around this time, around $15. Guess what? He got executed. Once he got executed, the stock went higher. There was two sellers out here, and they all came out at 9.30 in the morning. That's called program trading. This is what you call an iceberg order. Here's a seller right now for 300. Let me zoom in here a little bit closer so you can see it. There's a seller right now, right here, if you notice. How many shares is that guy looking to sell? Everyone. How many shares is that? 350,000 shares, okay? 350,000. What is, um, let's bring up our calculator. 350,000 shares, right? Hold on. Times that by $15.30. It's about $5 million worth of stock, okay? That, that that's good, trying to sell out there. Now, are you telling me that as much as the news could have been great, let's say earnings, I don't know what what you what's making the stock drive up, but you're telling me no matter how great the news is right now, that you want to still hold on to the stock and want to think it's going to go higher because, you know, in theory, the stock did do pretty well. I mean, you're looking at this right here and you can notice that, wow, the stock was at like 20, took a big hit. It's on an uptrend. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. This stock is going higher. This stock, you know, resistance here on my indicators after talking about, you know, the moving average, my stochastic, my RSI, my Bollinger Bands. What else you guys use over here? MACD. I heard that's pretty cool. That tells you a lot, right? Let's, uh, I mean, let's just see how, how about that? Does that answer your question? After all that education that you spent in, is that telling you what's go, going up? Yeah, that's right. You better laugh out loud, Brian. Damn right you better be laughing because I'm laughing with you, okay? But if there's anything I'm watching, it's I'm watching the big orders. That's what controls the market is this guy right here. Now, one last thing before we go before I can get you guys register again. And some people ask me, well, how would I use this towards swing trading? How could I use it towards long-term trading? Well, if you zoom out, you can go back and you could see orders out there. If there are any orders out there at 17, like there's an order out there at 16. You know, and looking at the chart, technically the resistance levels was at 16. Um, I'll show it to you right again. But for me to do that, I got to take off a lot of this junk because it's driving me nuts. 
I'm getting confused right here. Let me take off all these indicators. So if I drew a trend line at 16 right here, you could see clear as day that, yeah, 16 support levels there, resistance, support, resistance. So why is this resistance? Why isn't that resistance? Well, because when we look at this, we got to deal with that seller first before we can deal with this seller second. Follow what I'm saying? Now, NVIDIA. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about NVIDIA at NASDAQ. Now, what's going on with NVIDIA? Anyone know? What's going on with NVIDIA? Exactly. Earnings are coming out. NVIDIA, you know, really big move here on NVIDIA. Let me bring this up. NVDA. So everybody knows the story of NVIDIA. NVIDIA had a really nice move today. You could see it ran from like 452 to 460. Uh, but you could see it right here. It's getting resistance levels. Now you're at, now your question's asking like, well, what, what well is going to continue to go higher? Well, I can tell you this right now. You got a big seller here at uh, 470. You got another biggest seller right here at, at 475. If I zoom out, you could see another big seller, more majority at 480 and then 490. And we look here in the chart, you could see here, and I'll zoom in over here and make it a little bit better for you. Here's your chart at 470, 480, and 490. So you could see clear as day. Oh, yeah, I see the resistance levels here at 470. Oh, I see resistance here at 490. But is it really resistance? Well, there's no way to find out. Look at the orders. They're out there. They're out there. And they've been out there. All right. So, uh, no, it's not. Juan, no, it's not. So, there's no better time to learn than now. Okay, I just showed you for $15, you can get this data. Okay, well, how about this? How about I told you it's going to even be cheaper than that? How long, how about that? So, but for me to do that, I want to prove it to you. I want to bring you to the real markets. I want to introduce you to all my traders and not judge us by our winners, but judge us on our losers because. 80% of the people, 90% of people lose money in trading, and that's really what we got to fix. And then you'll get to meet guys like John G, how he traded, you know, AI, and, and he, he killed it over here, uh, making almost, you know, I did an options trade right there. Um, or Alex or Philip did it on a stock trade. You're going to meet these people. And, and this is the big thing I want to point out. Look at these, look at these screens right here, Okay. That screen on the right is me doing a presentation at Charles Schwab. Even Charles Schwab wants you to learn how to use it. On the left, look at the floor of the trading exchange over there. Look at them. How many indicators you see on this wall? None. They're orders. Those are orders. That's what it comes down to. It. So this is why Cybertrade University has been partnered and endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. And not only that, but if you ever look at any other school, you'll find that we have the highest, most successful rating on Google and on the Better Business Bureau than any school in the industry. Now, why is that even possible? Because we teach you what works, okay? Not teaching you the past, but we're teaching you how to read the future. So this is what I want to do. I want to invite all of you, once again, to come in my trading room. It's online. You can log in whenever you want, but I'm going to give you one week access. Now, this is what we do. We have live audio broadcasts from 9 a.m. to 10.30 in the morning, and then live commentary from 2.30 to 4. And But we're trading all day. But we have those two valuable times where we trade the first hour and the last hour. Now, we'll also have uh, gurus that will come over the week. We have continue education that goes on. Remember, the one that educates wins. So the faster you learn, 
the faster you'll learn how to, to, to control your losses, the faster you make this more of a successful career. Now, how much is going to cost? $9. That's it. $9. You can click on the link that we just posted up on the screen, or you can use that QR code. Let me post the QR code um, in YouTube also. There's your trial if you want that YouTube trial. And if you're on the chat, there's that link for the chat right there. Okay. So that's all you got to do is click on that link. And for $9, we'll give you one week in our trading room to take everything that we talked about and see it live in the market. Now, this is what you're going to get. These are all the things that you're going to get. We actually open up the trading room at 7.45 in the morning because a lot of the trading we do is in the pre-market. We're also going to give you three pro workshops. We're going to give you a Traders Talk library, okay? We're going to give you a coaching class. And you know what? To make this not even worth, make it worth your value and time, I'll even give you a money back guarantee. Listen, I don't need your $9, okay? I basically are looking for people that want that I could train that could be part of my group because eventually I'm going to teach you to be so good. You're going to teach other people. So we're always looking to recruit new traders. Okay. And who knows, maybe you'll start your own school because there are a lot of schools out there that are, you know, traders of ours, but don't be part of the 99% of the people that are self-taught. It's listen, what's the worst thing that could happen with nine bucks? You learn something. That's the beauty of it. So um, with that, you got the QR code and just want to kind of, I see a couple of people are registering right now. Uh, just a couple of shout outs really quick. Uh, uh, Samantha T from, from Florida, just got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Brian got your registration. Welcome aboard. Look forward to teaching you. These people actually registered early this morning. Uh, Greg got a registration. Vance got your registration. Welcome aboard. Fairmont, got your registration. Thank you very much from uh, Chicago. Welcome aboard. Uh, now, if anyone has any questions, please, it's the best time to answer them. Um, I'm not clear. We get 15 access broker. No, no, listen. Sylvia, NASDAQ sells book viewer for $15, okay? You should go buy it. Send me your link. I'll tell you where to get it. But if you want me to teach you how to use it properly, then for only $9, I will show you how it works. So when you do get it, you know how to use it because it might do more harm than good. Um, when could you start? You could start now. If you want to start on Monday, you could start on Monday, but lock in your promotion rate right now, you know, because like I said, things could change. And once again, um, when you register, you're going to have a registration page. And not only that, but you're going to make an appointment with an education advisor uh, we're not looking to sell you anything. We just want you to have the best experience as possible because I think I do more of justice for people to realize that trading is not for them than actually learning the hard way. Okay. Any other questions? Um, do I need a brokerage firm to start? No. Listen, we do not want you to trade. We don't want you to buy anything. We just want you to watch. Okay. And trust me, you're going to be confused. You think you know what you're doing? Remember what I told you earlier? I told you before, listen, if you don't get it, you shouldn't be here in the first place. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be trading. So wouldn't you rather surround yourself with a guru that does it all day long? Because that's what trading is all about. Now, before we go, I'm going to play the video that I just was on last month with NASDAQ. And so you can sit back and watch and, and, and listen to a video um, you know, of why it's so important to be a very good trader. But you know what? For $9, fellow traders, what are you going to lose? What are you going to lose? So anyway, listen, I'm, I'm, a, little, I'm a little insulted. I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed. We have over 100 people in here, and I feel that all 100 of you should have been registered already. What are you waiting for? I just told you, not only we are the most reputable company out there in the industry, but now you're also able to see the future and see orders. You want to go out there and trade today's markets and you're telling me you don't want to wear Goldman Sachs's, Merrill Lynch, BlackRock and what they're doing? You think you're smarter than them? Unless, Margaret, you're like a member of CTU and that's why you're here. That's why I know all, all 100 are not going to register. But there should be a hell of a lot more of you should be jumping to your chairs right now and not even thinking twice. 
All right, now I'm starting to see people coming in register. Michaela uh, from Ontario, Canada. Oh, you're from Toronto, Michael? Anyway, I'm going to be in Toronto on September 9th at the Money Show doing a presentation. So, Mike, uh, we'll send you a link. M make sure you're there. I'd love to see you. So think about it. This is even better for you, Michael. You get to see, you get to do the class, and then you get to meet with me live in person. And I'd be love to talk to you. Absolutely. That's great. So lucky for you, because I'm going to be in your backyard. Uh, no, I'm not going to be at Sawgrass this year, David, but hopefully going to be the next one. All right. Who else we got registered here? Another Michael K. From Florida. All right. There you go. Got your registration. Welcome aboard. I start seeing the scenes. I see somebody starting to register right now coming in. Go Gators. <laughs> there you go. And it's not the sawgrass you're thinking of. Uh, it's actually the big golf course that's down there in sawgrass. Any other questions? Um, how much money you need to get started? That's a great question. $9? That's all you need. $9 to get started. This will be the best nine dollars you'll ever spend. And guess what? After the next, after if you feel like a waste of your time, I'll give you nine dollars back. And yes, I'm, I'm sorry. No, there's not going to be no hidden charges or I'm going to hit you with a subscription afterwards. We don't play that game. Listen, I don't need to scrutiny. I don't need to lock you in. I don't need to jump over hoops. I don't need your money. Okay, I am looking for serious traders, and that nine dollars is separating from people that want free stuff. And people that want to learn from real traders. I can't only teach you so much in an hour of spark interest. All right. All right. So with that said, fellow traders, let me play this quick video before we all go. All right. And um, forget about funding an account. Don't worry about what you, you the only account you're funding is at nine bucks right now. <laughs> okay. That's the least of your problems. All right. Don't worry about, oh, the day trading rule, this, that. That's the least of your problems right now. If you're here, then you're here. You make that investment for nine bucks. Let me play the video. In the meantime, everybody, thanks for watching. Don't go anywhere. Enjoy the video on NASDAQ. I'm going to play right now. And I look forward to seeing you teach you all you in tomorrow's class or maybe later this afternoon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy trading. Association president of Cyber Trading University to discuss using NASDAQ book viewer to trade market trends. And it's so interesting, Fausto, we're almost sector company agnostic. It applies for all different types of companies. All different ones, Jill. And it being earnings week, there's been just so much been going on with the market and regarding to some of things. But like NASDAQ book viewer has been such a big help in today's markets. And I want to start out talking about Rethiom. I mean, there, this stock in general just took a very, very big beating. It's been on a downtrend. It's been you know, getting hit pretty hard. And you know, sometimes people look at it like, when do I do I average down here or do I take my losses now? And when you look at the Nasdaq book viewer, you'll notice that there was a 157,000 share uh, buyer right around that. Uh, was at 81 dollars and 74 cents. I mean, that is a substantial order. When you look at the book viewer. Look on the bid and offer. There's not that many shares, 10 shares, 50 shares, 100 shares. But when you see 150,000, it's like, why would someone want to buy at that specific price? But as you work your way down, you'll notice that as soon as it came to that big buyer, the stock just basically bounced. And this is like something people have to learn that when they try to figure out, do I average down? Do I take my losses? Well, listen, the stock's not going to zero. There's always going to be buyers. And someone thought it was a good trade there. And that's why you have to follow the book viewer. Right. And you can see here that it, it tested at 81.50 exactly. with the And it bounced about five points from there, almost a little bit more than that. So you can sometimes you can average your cost down, but you got to know when to do it and when not to do it. All right. Let's move along now to our next one, Siri, a name that trades quite frequently, a little bit of news in, in the market this week with that. So Siri has been on a really good tear lately. It's stock that basically was right around the three, $4 price range, it's been on a big rally. Now, the thing is this, there's an old saying, whatever goes up comes down twice as fast. So mm -hmm. the thing is when you're trading a stock, you want to know, okay, where's the big resistance levels? Because not only could you use the book viewer as a day trader, you could use it as a swing trade. So Sirius Sir Radio is making a really, really big run. So the goal is, is it going to seven? Is it going to 10? Is it going to 20? Well, when you look at the book viewer, you got a 531,000 share seller sitting at $7.75, Jill. And if you look as we move on to the next uh, the next slide, you'll notice that it hit that resistance. 
And listen, they're 10,000, 50,000, but we talk from 500,000, you're not talking chump change. Hits that resistance a couple of days later, boom, the stock comes right back down. And now you're hovering right around the $4 price range. And that's how you can convert, convert a big winner into a loser. Yeah, let's take a look at DWAC. Right. I mean, the traders love day traders love to trade this. d -Block is such a fun stock. And this this is an, a, a classic example of what's called a breakout. So everybody wants to know, like, how do stocks break resistance levels? How do they know how they're going to go higher? I thought it get out. My indicators told me to do that. Well, when you look at the Nasdaq book viewer, the goal is you always want to have a game plan. See, what's nice about it, it teaches you the future. You're not focused on the past. And it's all about those orders. And right here on DWAC, which is a fun stock, there was a 240,000 share seller at $23. So as a stock, you can see it's been having a really good trend. It got to that resistance and it stopped right there. Now, this is where the breakout kicks in. That 240,000 share seller got done. And the way you know that is by looking at time and sales. And you can see it obviously just trickling away, which a lot of people neglect and don't realize the value of that time and sales. But you saw it on Book Viewer, and you can see those orders actually just dwindling down. And what happens? Stock goes up right to 25. I mean, that's really quite the run there. And you, you can even see, okay, when is the time to sell? If we look at the Book Viewer there, you see that 25, 24 price is what you need to be paying attention to. Because as you're working your way down, Jill, you'll notice there's there, there are there's there are sellers at every single price level. And because we got away from fractions, we're at decimals, they're at every single penny. But you could see it when you work your way down on that book view, boom, right there, 252,000 shares. So the game plan as a trader is like, okay, my next resistance levels will be $2. Now, $2 is a lot when you're talking a short period of time. It didn't take too long to get mm -hmm. there, maybe like 30 minutes. And $2 could be a very significant profit. But if you didn't get out there, Jill, look what ended up happening. Stock came right back down to $20. And that's how you convert a winner into a loser. And that's not what you want to do. And that's why the book viewer is such a value tool. Let's wrap up and talk about um, XPEV. I believe this is an ADR. I mean, you can use it to trade anything. And absolutely. And what, what, what's very, I want to save the best for last, because this stock was a great stock that we traded the other day on the pre-market. Now, a lot of people don't realize that you can trade in pre-market and you can use the book viewer. It starts really early. A lot of traders can't, depending on what kind of broker you have, you can't, they won't allow you to trade until the market opens up. But if you have a direct access broker, you can. But here on this stock right here, this was an awesome trade. So right around, what is this, around 9.55, the stock had a big pop from 15.75 to 17.50. Now, what was, class, what was, what was classic about this stock, that there was a 200,000 share buyer sitting at 17.20. And he was sitting there for about maybe 20 minutes, you know, right before the open. Now, I don't know, maybe he got an order, maybe some trader got an order and had to buy it there. But listen, if you have the book viewer, you can see that because there was no other orders out there that substantial at that price. Right. So it ended up happening once the market opened up, Jill, boom, the stock just took off and went past 18, shot all the way up to a price of $21 in a matter of 30 minutes. And it all was predicated on that big buyer that ran it up. And by you seeing those orders, and if you had access to see what's happening pre-market, you could have had that game plan to get in. And But, you know, once again, focusing on where to take that profit. You know, Faster, you had mentioned that you can trade pre-market, you can trade aftermarket. And for newer traders out there, is there a benefit to only trade from 930 to 4? Or is it okay to trade pre and post-market? Well, the, the advantage is that as without you know being a you know as a market maker and I used to trade you you having access to that data before the street gets in or the general public to get in remember they they put orders in and they can't get their orders executed until the market opens up but as a trader we're like we're out there like let's say you got a guarantee order I'm gonna go out there I'm saying oh well, I got Jill wants to buy it well I got a guarantee buy I'll go out there and buy it and everybody could see that who has access to that account and then what happens when these orders start filling in. They have to get executed, and that's how they get driven up the way they do. But when you have the NASDAQ book viewer, which basically controls maybe about, I don't know, maybe about 50% of the volume of the total market, that's a substantial amount of volume to kind of give you a, a sense of direction where the stock's going to go, other than, you know, everyone, general public, just trading a couple hundred shares. All right. Also, appreciate the insight as always. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks, and thanks for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Market Reporter at NASDAQ.